Hello, my name's Lani. I'm a science teacher, STEM ambassador, STEAM lead, crest assessor and director of Amaze Lab. And I'm here today to show you how to make snow globes. In order to make your own snow globe, you will need a jar. It can be any jar as long as it is nice and clean. You are also going to need some water, some strong waterproof glue, please do make sure that you do this under adult supervision we don't want anything that shouldn't be sticking to anything else some ribbon but that is optional you will be able to make it without it a little character in my case i'm using a small tree some glitter ideally biodegradable glitter a spoon and some glycerin. If you don't have any glycerin, you will be able to complete this activity, but I will explain a little bit later on why it will help. So the first thing that you need to do to create your very own snow globe is to attach your character, in my case, this little tree here, to the lid of your jar. Now you will have to have a little bit of patience because we will need to make sure that this is securely fastened. So in order to do that, you need to take your strong waterproof glue. You need to very carefully, making sure you don't get it on your fingers, pop a blob of glue onto the lid of your jar and then take your character and attach it firmly like so. So I've now got my little tree firmly attached to the lid of my jar. Now, I'm going to show you one that I made earlier because you will need to leave that on the side to dry. So I'm just going to pop mine back there. And here's one that I made earlier. And do make sure that it is securely glued to the lid. You'll find out why that's important in just a little while. You're then going to add your water to your jar. Now you're going to fill it to about this area here on your jar because we need to make sure that we're leaving a little bit of space for the glycerin and we can pop our character inside with our lid. So I'm going to take my water and I'm going to pop it into my jar like so. So can you see how I've done that? I'm then going to use some glycerin. So I've got some that I prepared a little bit earlier in here. Or a couple of teaspoons full of glycerin should be absolutely fine. You can carry out this activity without it, but what it does, it will help your snow to fall inside your snow globe. So I'm just going to pop the equivalent about two um, teaspoons of glycerin into my jar like so. And then going to use my spoon and I'm just going to give it a stir and mix it up. If you look closely, I'm also creating a vortex that you would be able to investigate. Why is that shape occurring inside my jar? Can everybody see that? There are so many scientific investigations that you can undertake whilst making a snow globe. So investigate how to create your own vortex also. And then going to add some biodegradable glitter and this is going to form the snow inside my snow globe. Again about two teaspoons will be fine, it just depends on the size of your jar. So I'm just going to add my glitter into my jar like so. I'm then going to give my glitter a stir. I'm just going to stir it all up into my jar and we don't want to go too crazy on the glitter because if we do we might not be able to see our character very well and we might lose some of the effect so can you see there i'm just going to give that a stir so it's all evenly distributed inside of my jar can everybody see our snow starting to whirl around inside our jar i'm then going to very very carefully just double check that your character is secure onto your lid. Now, a good idea is to take some glue and pop it around the edge of your lid. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to place it all around the edge of my lid. Now, I'm only doing this to try and prevent any further leaks. 
I'm going to take my glue and pop it around the edge of my lid like so. I'm then going to take my jar and my lid and I'm going to turn my character upside down into the water and I'm going to fasten it securely. Do make sure it is as tight as it can possibly go because we don't want water spilling out, do we? You're then going to take your ribbon and I'm going to tie that around my jar. So I'm going to take my ribbon and pop it around my jar and just tie it into a bow. Then when I turn it round, you will see that I have created my very own snow globe. And if you just give it a bit of a whirl, we can see that inside my snow globe, it's snowing. Wow, how amazing for this winter. We've got snow inside our snow globe. So what can we do in terms of our scientific investigations and our snow globe? You can thoroughly enjoy making your snow globe. You can investigate how you created a vortex when you are adding your water and your glycerin and your glitter to your jar. You may want to investigate what is the correct amount of glitter to get the desired effect? How much water should I add? What about the volume of the glycerin that I'm adding? They're all scientific investigations that you can undertake. You can also, when you add your glycerin, we do that because glycerin has got a high velocity. And when I say it's got a high velocity, what I mean is that is how thick a liquid is. So when I add the glycerin to my water, the glycerin means that the liquid inside the snow globe slows down the glitter as the gravity pulls it down. It prevents it from all clumping together and it makes it look that little bit more like real snow. You may also want to investigate magnification and refraction because something very interesting has happened inside my snow globe. If you take a look at my character that I attach to this lid. And then if you have a look at the tree inside my snow globe, do you notice anything about it? Does one look bigger than the other? So a good investigation can be looking at magnification and refraction. I hope that everybody has thoroughly enjoyed making their very own snow globe. We'd love to see them also, so do share them with us. Thank you so much. Bye.